This is a H-Bridge motor driver, and if you've ever used a DC motor before, chances are you've used one to drive it. One of the coolest things about a H-Bridge is that it can move a motor forwards or backwards, but how does it do this? This is a diagram of our H-Bridge connected to our power supply with our motor in the middle here. Now the heart of this are these four switches that I've drawn here, but these aren't switches, these are actually transistors, which are just electronically controllable switches, so we use switches here, it's actually a transistor. If you programmed your microcontroller to tell this motor driver to drive the motor forward, it would close this switch here and also close this switch here. And if we look at the connection that we've made, we've now made a path from the positive terminal of our battery all the way around into the positive terminal of our motor, back through the negative terminal of our motor, back to the negative of our battery. This turns the motor on and we've got our positive connected to positive, so the motor spins forward. Open these transistors again and you stop electricity from flowing and the motor stops. If the motor driver wanted to make the motor go in reverse, it would simply close these two transistors here and now we have electricity flowing through here through the negative then through the positive and back to the negative and note now how we have the positive terminal of the battery connected to the negative terminal of our motor so the motor goes in reverse it's that simple you control these two pairs of transistors to change the direction of the motor and if you want to add a motor driver like this to your next project we have a practical step-by-step -step video guide where we show you just how to do that link in bio